morning, folks. We are diving right into it today with focus on two space weather items. First, the burst. The same active region that had produced three small CMEs over the last week fired another one as it turned towards the limb. We're zooming in on the field snap here and then to see the X-ray light of the event, which reached up into M-class flare range and did produce another CME. We can see on SOHO that this new CME is headed out away from Earth. No impact is expected, and that will go for any further eruptions from that group as it continues turning out of view. The second space weather item of note is that the second one of its previous small CMEs did hit last night and drove geomagnetic storms up to moderate level with waning unrest here into the morning hours. With the first 20 to 25 percent of this solar cycle in the books, the predictions for the peak of this cycle 25 are changing. We have been consistently above average so far in sunspot production, and the new forecast is for that to continue. This is where we are now. Red line is the official prediction ensemble from before the cycle began, and the jagged marks are obviously the actual sunspot observation counts each month, which vary much more than the smooth average line. I figured the new prediction was better seen while said, so here it is. Peaking a bit earlier than expected, with a single, not a double peak, and with the average maximum sunspot number of 145, and potential for individual months to crack the 150 mark, which didn't happen last cycle. This would make for a concerning next three to four years as Earth's magnetic field protecting us from space weather continues to diminish. Three quick paper shares here, and then on to some notes. First, we find the first look of 2022 at climate model success versus failure. Once again, the high climate sensitivity is wrong, produces high bias, and again, due to an anomalously high sensitivity of one component, carbon. This is the bajillionth time we've seen this, and yet, they still use high sensitivity models to scare people with climate claims. Second, we usually focus on the shorter geomagnetic excursion cycle of about 12,000 years, but there is the longer full cron magnetic reversal cycle, happens every few hundred thousand years. This is the long cycle and it turns out it used to be closer to a million. The frequency of the planetary geomagnetic disasters is increasing. And finally on the article front, what do you mean you're learning about a new hydrogen crystal? Great science here, but with embarrassing implications for the modeling done at planetary and stellar scales. Inside a star, small mistakes blow up into a massive misunderstanding of science and process. Now. Despite using the specific phrase of taking licks like an adult yesterday in the news, I had to pop back on YouTube in the afternoon to reiterate the advice, but also why it is the right advice. If you didn't see our second video yesterday, it might be worth a moment. And now, our top story. One of the observers went down to the Sierra Diablos to check out what could be seen there. For those who don't recall, it's where the Jeff Bezos bug out plan is centered and unfolding where the Blue Origin launch facility is set astride of a mountain range owned by Bezos, in which he has been hollowing out. The observer chatted with locals, checked out things to see, and most critically, was able to deliver evidence of constant cement trucks going in and out, and apparently, that's been going on for a while, according to a local authority. And there is no secret amongst the locals, an enormous bunker facility is being installed, such that once again, Bezos can go up or go down if he needs to when the disaster strikes, just like Elon Musk. And I can't stress this enough. In our Christmas Day documentary called The Earth Disaster Documentary, we combined our nine best videos on the topic, including what the billionaires and celebrities are doing behind our backs. It explains the changes on Earth, the other planets, the sun, and even interplanetary space and the nearby stars and how it's the galactic magnetic reversal we're in the process of taking. Timeline is the 2030s for the crescendo, but the big effects are forecast to begin near the peak of this sunspot cycle. Watch the documentary if you haven't seen it yet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.